every game that I win, I get to add one rookie to my team, which is important because the New Orleans Saints are awful. No, seriously, this team is so old. After every win, I'll spin this wheel of positions, and whatever it lands on will be the position of the rookie we get to add. But to spin that wheel, we need to win games, which will be kind of difficult with this team. Okay, this might be the only team that I feel confident beating. I think we can beat the Carolina Panthers. But our current quarterback was Derek Carr, and winning would potentially jeopardize his job on this team as he wouldn't even give us a shot to beat the Carolina Panthers this game. Brother, if we get blown up by the Carolina Panthers of all teams, this is not looking good. Bryce Young had 300 yards and three touchdowns. Derek Carr, why? And next week wasn't going to be any easier. Now we have to travel to Dallas to take on the Cowboys. And based off their overalls, they are no joke. And once more, will we lose another game? Well, we're already 0-2. That's not good. It was evident that we had to start winning soon. But we're already 0-2, and we're taking on another pretty solid opponent. But the good news for us is that we would be back home this week. And with our fans backing us up in a must-win game, we would get our first win of the season. Finally, we get our first win of the season. Jalen Hurts can't believe it. Derek Carr probably had his best game of the season. Derek Carr played amazing, man. But that wouldn't last for much longer. Oh my god, quarterback. Quarterback. Quarterback, please. Quarterback, let's go. And just like that, we would have a new quarterback. Caleb Williams, 76 overall hidden dev quarterback. The first overall pick in this past year's draft. Welcome to the team. And this was a perfect week to have a new quarterback. This is another winnable week for us. We're both one and two. In our very first game with our new quarterback one, it would be a very high scoring affair. But thankfully, since we just got our new quarterback, we would come out on top. 34 to 27, baby. And with that came another wheel spin. Okay, which position are we going to add now? We can't add a another quarterback so it is going to be a new left tackle okay it's crazy because we already have a rookie left tackle but it doesn't hurt to get another one i'm gonna go with olu fashanu yes i probably butchered his name but this man is gonna look good in a saint uniform but i decided to move fuaga to left guard and we now have fashanu as our new left tackle and although we were on a win streak that seemed like it would come to an end this week. Okay, chances we win this game are very unlikely. I'm just going to say it now. And although we would put up a good fight in the first half, and honestly, the whole entire game, we would fall short in the end. You know what? That was actually a lot closer than I expected. So I, it is what it is. It was a good effort from the team. Caleb didn't play the best, but it's on to the next one. As the following week would be a much more winnable game. And with Caleb playing his very first game in the New Orleans Superdome, he would put on a show as the Saints would get back in the win column. 35 to 32. What a shootout. Caleb would essentially have 300 yards with two tutties. Easy. And with that would come another rookie. Okay, man. I would like to get a skill position, preferably a halfback or maybe even a cornerback we will take that oh, low battery okay i'm gonna add terry on arnold to the squad he's still a hidden dev but this man has potential to be a superstar and we'd have a chance to go on a win streak this week the denver broncos are one in five i'm not even kidding and in a rookie quarterback matchup between bo Nix and caleb williams caleb williams would come out victorious okay it wasn't pretty by any means but we get the dub both quarterbacks had zero touchdowns and played pretty badly nice okay just give me another skill position man i would love a wide receiver a wide receiver would be so clutch but you know what i guess i'll take a strong safety why not javon is the highest overall rookie strong safety so i guess i'll choose javon back to back weeks we upgrade the secondary with terry on arnold and a bullard defense is looking pretty solid the following week we'd face another winnable opponent and although they would have a slight edge in the quarterback category over us we would come away victorious yet again 20 to 17 we are on a win streak fellas meaning it was back to the wheel okay what is another position we could get oh i will take a middle linebacker i'm not i'm not scared i'm not afraid to upgrade the middle linebacker position i'll take it i decided to add packers middle linebacker edwin cooper to the squad because he would be the perfect middle linebacker next to demario davis so we now have the mario davis and edger and cooper dude this middle linebacker duo is insane and before we go any further, let me introduce you to today's sponsor, to Kazo, the second channel. Many of you don't know I have a second channel where I upload every other day with Madden 25 rebuilds, throwback rebuilds with older Maddens, and honestly, just whatever else football related. If you want to see more of my content, make sure to head over and subscribe. The link is in the description. And considering we were barely leading our division, this week's game would be massive. Okay, if we win this game against the Panthers, there's a good chance we make the playoffs. And although it was going to be tough in a hostile road game, with a divisional opponent we would control the entire game narrowly escaping this week with the w another three-point dub man they're close but a dub is a dub nonetheless regardless of the score we get to add another
another player. Okay, I'm still looking for a wide receiver. Please, please, please. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Beautiful. And I could have very easily went with Marvin Harrison, but I decided to go with Malik Neighbors. Welcome home to New Orleans, buddy. I'm not going to lie. Having another Saints player where number nine is kind of crazy, but just for this instance, I don't mind. So we now have a wide receiver core of Chris Olave, Rashid Shahid, and Malik Neighbors. And in week 10, we face the two and seven Atlanta Falcons, who would pose zero threat to us as we get to add another rookie. Ooh, are we going to get a new running back? Oh my God, we're going to get a new running back. And although there weren't many notable rookie running backs this draft class, I would still come away with a pretty solid player. You know, let's go with 81 overall, Jonathan Brooks. He's an 81. And right before the bye, we'd face the Cleveland Browns, where we would continue our win streak and add another rookie. Ooh, a new right outside linebacker, in which the best rookie right outside linebacker would belong to the Falcons, but not anymore. Okay, so we're now eight and three, and we're sitting at an 83 overall. Through 13 weeks, this isn't bad. And although we win this week against the Rams and add yet another rookie to the team, our win streak would finally come to an end. Okay, we're taking on the 2-10 and 10 New York Giants. There's no way we lose this week, right? Oh my god, we lost the 2-10 and 10 New York Giants. We just lost to Daniel Jones. Bro, Caleb went crazy. How did we lose? But thankfully for us, we would have already have locked up the division, so that loss didn't mean too much. But it would to the team, as they would end the season winning three of the remaining four, finishing with a record of 12-5. and five. Well, we win the division with ease. And during that win streak, I would add rookies like Marvin Harrison Jr., Brock Bowers, and Byron Murphy to cap it off. So entering the playoffs, this is the squad. Defensively, defensively, we got a bunch of rookies as well. But mostly in offense is where all the rookies reside. And our very first playoff game would come against the 12 and 5 49ers. Oh God, this is going to be tough. Their overalls are insane. And because the team lacked experience because, well, there were a bunch of rookies on it, Caleb Williams would lead us to a massive upset over the 12 and 5 49ers as he would come down to the very end. 35 to 28, we advance. I don't want to call it an upset, but we low-key just upset the 49ers. Caleb went 31 for 37 with 400 yards in his first ever playoff game. And there were other rookies who shined as well. Malik Neighbors had 106 yards and a touchdown. And Marvin also had 100 yards as well. Look at Brock Bowers, 86 yards too. But the opponents would only get tougher. Next up is the Philadelphia Eagles, but thankfully we get to host them as well. Now although Jalen Hurts would have more experience than Caleb Williams, our team and the fans were fired up for this game as there was no way we'd lose. Yeah, no, we lose 38 to 24 it was just obvious that the eagles had more experience than us jalen hurts two touchdowns zero picks while caleb has an interception and a touchdown marvin harrison had one reception for 13 yards brock bowers didn't have a good game malik had an okay game we just didn't have the experience to get it done to be honest and well at least to end the season caleb williams and malik neighbors both got superstar so at least we came away with some sort of victory but that's gonna do it for this video if you boys want to see me build a whole franchise team with every single rookie and try to win a super bowl click right here i just dropped a banger on the second channel and go sub while you're at it too